It is good to be back in the office. I was blessed to have very mild symptoms associated with COVID-19. I followed the requirements of the CDC and our Mississippi Health Department in quarantining. If you find yourself exposed to someone who has tested positive for COVID-19, or if a family member tests positive, or if you have symptoms and have not yet been tested, the CDC provides great guidelines for how to approach each of these different situations. The CDC's recommendations have changed over the past few months, and instead of a 14-day quarantine for everyone, you will see on their website different recommendations for different situations. We are excited to have our full-time city employees back from furlough. We have some catching up to do on grass mowing, among other things, but I want you to know that we're on it. We appreciate your patience with us as we catch up. Unfortunately, our numbers of positive cases have continued to increase. Our face covering mandate remains in place and indoor dining and alcohol sales must cease at 10 o'clock p.m. We continue to have daily conversations with the Department of Health and health care providers about further measures. I'm told by Dr. Dobbs at the Department of Health that family and social gatherings seem to be where most cases are being generated. I know that people are so tired of me begging folks to follow the safety requirements and truthfully, I do believe that probably 95% of our population is following these requirements. We know what works. We've seen proof that wearing masks, social distancing, and hand washing works. At this time, our board believes that the plans in place are effective. Personal responsibility is the key and it will take every single one of us to be successful. I've spoken with Baptist Hospital Administrator Bill Henning today regarding hospital capacity. He has assured me that the emergency room is not turning anyone away and is ready to take care of all residents who need medical care. The ICU is nearing capacity, but Baptist has plans in place to utilize other spaces within the hospital as ICU areas. Hospital general capacity remains between 60 to 70% full, which is normal during the fall flu season, not necessarily during the summer, but the staff is prepared to accommodate this number of patients. As we near the fall and flu season, the hospital will examine their plans. The hospital is not doing tier one or tier two cases right now. These are basic cases that require one day stays. They are delaying basic cases that can be delayed without harm to the health of the patient. And this is in line with the State, of Department of Health, the State Department of Health's order. In general, all hospitals in the state are experiencing high patient loads and are having to deal with capacity issues. When Baptist Hospital North Mississippi starts to approach its capacity limit in a particular area, such as ICU, then they will work with other hospitals that want to transfer patients to Oxford. This can include several options, such as transferring hospital, holding the patient until our hospital can free up capacity. But being a part of a large system such as Baptist, it also allows them to look at alternatives, such as another Baptist hospital that could take the patient. But be assured that if you come to the emergency department, they are ready to take care of you. You can always see the positive and active case counts on our city website at OxfordMS.net. As always, we are stronger together. Thank you.